hello and welcome back mateys to Pokokohara. We need to check out this place. We have some uh, quests over here, we can just uh, read them as a reminder. Investigate the situation at Pokokohara. Uh, the Wailing Trading Company sent me here. And Dim Prospects, Luminous Adra, Pokokohara. So they all want the Adra at Pokokohara. And uh, I just need to check out what the hell is going on here. I suspect that the Pukuhara ruins will be the the main place. So we're gonna check out the shrine first. You notice a small pavilion containing a large weathered statue of a stone a little ways off the path. It appears to be a Huana shrine. Uh, search the surrounding area. The area around the shrine is clear and may prove to be a good place to rest. Approach and identify it. You do it! Yes! A pair of stone eels twist up the sculpture. Each eel's mouth clings to the other's tail, creating an unbroken circuit. It portrays Rikuhu, the Huana's rendition of Berat. An inscription runs along uh, the shrine's base. Some flee, others fight. Rikuhu consumes all. Pull and dirt does the statue, and grass grows wild at its base. It seems some time since uh, the shrine was tended. Pray at the shrine and rest? I cap. Nothing phantom headed but but staying uh, square with the old salt who brought you back to life. Seraphim smirks and drops uh, to his knees beside you. You kneel before the shrine, whispering your prayer to the cool stone. It offers no answers, but you feel calmer as you rise uh, to your feet and set about making a camp. The hours pass without complication, and you wake and continue your journey. So this was just completely waste wasted. Well, whatever. Kukukuhara. We have things to do here. As far as I know, the maximum level in this game is like 20. So... I guess we're gonna see a lot of high level enemies uh, later. Because currently I believe that we are at nine, uh, 16, which really should be good enough to deal with uh, with most threats we run into anyway. We should be able to deal with Poko Kuhara. <laughs> That's for one. Oi, Poco Kohara! What's going fine. on here? Just try not to breathe going through. Yeah. Okay, this place is big. Be ready to be. There's some worms. See that Ishi? Alright, this is worm. Obelisk. Sand grub, more grubs. Yeah, these people are dead. I mean, grubs. Oh boy. The AOE of this thing is so big. Mishi, watch out! Why not? 
So, can we learn anything uh, from the ba of the from the obelisk? I don't think so. We can just check it out. Now there'll be a lesson to learn here about mercantile types and hostile environs. One ends with us taking his stuff. Oh, the well. We should not have left Vector with those Juana. I can barely hear these people. Then swim back to take a water. We will take your share. Dueno? You wanna talk? This feather stone, uh, well, seems fairly old, though you see fresh signs of excavation in the sand around it. A rope dangles over, over the side, trailing down into the darkness. Pull up the rope. Hoisting the rope it is surprisingly easy. The reason for that soon becomes clear. Not, nothing is attached to the frayed end of the rope. Toss down a pebble. After a few seconds, there's a splash. Let's not climb down. I want to explore this entire area. Before we consider that. So what was coming? I got this guy. Whatever got that guy, they never bought it to go back and loot him. Got someone in my Sorry, champion. See that beauty of a hit, These guys are everywhere. Oh boy. I'm sorry, Sarps. You have no chance here. Wait, what? Oh, once Sarib. Went for a big draw. He's over there. Not to alarm you, but I'm slowly dying of poison. Not to alarm you. He's back. Well, he wasn't the one who turned himself. Oh, he who casted the uh, the spell himself. What is this? Exceptional. Plus damage is shock. Grants conductive blast, which is. Interesting. But yeah, like, plus 25 damage. 25% damage. Is it percent? Yeah, but that's base damage. It's always base damage. Sand blight. What's the best gear we got? Triumph of. We're not really finding good stuff in this area. Blights. What did you find, Ishi? 
rubble. We're taking the rubble. So what about the temple? So we can use the well. Sarib camp. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, no talking. With the end titan. Very good uh, rolls, but apparently has rather lackluster deflection, which means it's super dead. Oh boy, we managed to knock him down. And then he's never gonna do anything. Then big knockdown. Chain lightning? This is not the time to do the chain lightning. Do you have something uh, that's just really good for a single target? I don't even know. We don't want to, do, do we? We can do a freezing pillar in his ass. Sand blight. Hmm. I might just have to tweak Seraphin's AI. It checks against fortitude. Wish I could set some um, thresholds that you know you should do it against the targets that have high fortitude. These these uh, spells are not as good anymore. It just gains so much focus for each attack. Who the hell is attacking me now? Sand blight. The the patina. Well, okay. It's not a guarantee that if we go down the well, we actually go inside the ruins. So, let's just try it. Send someone down the rope. Okay, never mind that. Actually, leave. First, everybody come over here. Then we're gonna send down Adair. Swim toward the sack. You do it. Grab the sack. Try to save the falling gems. You do it again. Failure. We gain some... Some gems. That's it. Alright. At least we figured it out. We couldn't save everything, but... We did uh, get quite a bit. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. Pull all your strength into pry bar. Use the pry bar to raise the door. Raise the door. Watcher was injured. On the opening discharges a breeze of stale air and something else. A feeling which emanates from the yawning darkness that makes you make your every hair stand on end. Okay. Also we are injured. So we need to rest. It seems like whatever is going on in this island very much has to do. Should we should we uh, change the the kind of bonuses we get for resting? Let's see, like AL. That's Constitution. That's good. Dexterity. Like this is actually just worse than the rise, perhaps. I don't know. 
it kind of depends on what you're going for. Arm rating, but lower dexterity. Damage taken, and more damage, but lower dexterity. Healing received, that, that's actually good. Damage with melee weapons, but lower dexterity. I, that, that seems like a good one to me. Like, we can just go with Grog. Like, one dexterity matters, but like, 15% extra damage with melee weapons? Like, everyone is using melee weapon, right? We can just go with Grog. For everybody. Effects. Oh, that's... That's a lot. What else we got? Hostile effect duration. Intellect. Plus power level. That's weird. Lager. Con and Might. That's good too. That helps with the survival. As well. Damage with melee attacks, but lower dexterity. Well, I think yes, dexterity is important. But damage with melee attacks seems like a good one to go for. It's very specific. We can go with Palmstone for her, because she casts a lot. She casts quite a bit as well. Rice Vine, Resolve, but lower dexterity, Rum, Action Speed. So basically this is for dexterity, right? We can go with Brum. That's actually just better, no? I'm pretty sure that the Brum is just straight up better than the Grog. Oh uh, yeah, the Grog is cheaper as well. Because action speed is more valuable than just damage with melee attacks. Silverfin, intellect is nice. Max health, that's not a lot. Penetration with weapons. Water. Oh yeah, you you actually should use just uh, some of those. Wait, where's the rum? <laughs> Whatever, let's go with that. Not not right now though. Okay. I guess we have something to look forward to. All the rum and grog. Maybe I should just buy some of that. Actually, that's a very significant buff. Hmm. Not to be underestimated by any means. That's a very weird looking Are trap. What got poor soul? Let's not let it get us. What did you find? Keep your whoever eye open. Keep your whoever eye open. So many traps. Out my wheelhouse. Keep your weather eye open. Oh, secret door. Grog, all worth it. Resistance to might afflictions. Sure. Is it the way forward? She came after me. Well, we didn't learn a lot from that. Hey, watch out. Scare beetle die. No problem. 
Cool, that rock be a pound or two of gold, Cap. If you can get it into our old. That's a lot of money. So I guess we can loot that. We can go down. But we need to go back first. To check... Uh, well, the entire level. We got trouble, folks. What? How do you guys come here? Let's go. Right on target. Luminous Revenant? Glory be to God. Let's blow them all up. Did we die? Not. Oh, that, that was actually not... Not crazy amount of damage. Wait, is this full only? I don't think so. Yeah, it does a lot of damage to not only foes. So probably shouldn't do that. Oh, they're all dead. I see. So let's just go down to the basement. I think Vitam Way Station level one. Luminous Adra Pillar. I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, Eotas showed up here, but apparently he's not just a luminous Adra junkie, but he actually has a purpose of why he's doing what he's doing. I'm not saying that purpose is going to justify anything, but just saying that he's not just uh, completely addicted on the Luminous Sagra. But he's going toward a direction and... Um, and in that direction he just gets all the Luminous Sagra and, you know, people's souls. You okay. seeing what I'm seeing? It's gotta be the peak. The Luminous Hadra appears infected, taking on a darker hue as it descends. Still a big uh, level. Is that blood? What have you done? I found him like this. Why is your blade drawn? You're crazy. Stay back. Oh. That's a lot to read. It's like going down. Bed running with the Huana tribes. And they're losing people. I don't be supposing we keep swapped in sparkling. Wait a second. Is this possible to Spyglass? I don't think we can equip the spyglass here. What is that? Travel speed? Huh. Not sure where we got that one. That's just food. I guess we're gonna put it back. Got someone in my I'll drown him at. Can't make a dent. Insane. 
Watch out for the frost, boys. Hey, who's that you on? Get out of the frost! It's dangerous heck as heck. What is this? Exceptional, two-handed. I don't be supposing we could uh, swapped in spot. Sigil of Nightmares. Let me just blow it up. J Lightning, hit it. Go away. We don't want to get injuries by this thing. Freezing pillar is just so dangerous. Swapped in sparkling. Hmm, going down again. Did I hear a secret? Suppose not. Reminds me of the wrong new What? They're immune. Pierce. All the my unit appears. I guess you're gonna use your rod. Oh, come on, take out the last scout of warrior guy. over here oh more crazies hmm kind of hard to aim it now daylight thing hit the m for us apparently it does Oh, look at that. A lot of loot, I guess. No problem. All right, let's go back. So, going that way. Stop. Still need to disable the trap. Stop. Let's put it there. Wow. Okay. Pretty good AoE. But Ed Renimut needs to die as well. So, 
desert damp. Should I read this book more? Wish we could read the book while we're fighting. Are we missing something here? I'm just gonna give the short version about this uh, little book. There's not much here that really says anything. They're just like, got here, excited about it. Whatever. Desert spider. Oh, look at that! Kill them all! Oh. He was interrupted? Kill them all! What? She was interrupted again? How? And it wasted the spell. Do the chain lighting now. Come on, we gotta kill them all. So we found the key. Don't, don't melee the gunpowder barrel. Nothing really here. Dead. Sure. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we're going down. We didn't learn a lot here, other than the fact that wow, we are OP. I would turn on the difficulty if I if I could at this point, but I, I just can't. You just can't turn it up. Or can you turn it up? Like, we're, we're on veteran, which is uh, pretty high. Oh, you can't. You can't go up. <sighs> At the start, it wasn't... That bad. Yeah. But now it's just... Well, m perhaps because we are uh, fighting easier encounters, but... That's why I turned on the auto scale up as well, and... It doesn't do it a lot. Cleaned out now. Why not? A woman lies dead on the tiles, her skin discolored with decay, her rent flesh slot away to reveal bone. No maggots or bugs have reached her here, which only means that there's more of her left to assault your nostrils. A sword lies discarded beside her, a pack lies beneath her arm, and the barest Wisp of essence hovers over her body. Read her soul. The brief, the brief images you see are scattered and confused. You're an explorer with the Valian Trading Company, and you see you are searching the ruins with your comrades. At least they used to be your comrades. Now, you're not so sure. Things have been going wrong ever since you got to this island. First with Gyand, then Olara. Though it might have started earlier, on Tikavara, maybe when Vector fell sick. You hear a scream in the distance, you don't know where 
the others are. You don't know why there's blood on your hands. You don't know why it's so hard to think. But you remember that you were supposed to be quiet to avoid the notice of whatever is down here. Something moves in the darkness. Let's examine her body. The woman's body lies at the end of a trail of a smeared, crusted blood. The damage to her armor suggests a fight, though it looks like her attacker or attackers allowed her to crawl away to die. Holding your breath, you kneel to search the body. Okay. Take the figurine. The wooden figurine has the body of a woman and the head of a fish. With beady eyes and a gaping, snaggletooth maw. It's pale and rough textured. Careful, Watcher. That thing's got a nasty hex on it. Confusion feels like. Sadi's nose crinkles as she leans closer to examine the figurine. Take the pages. They looked like they were ripped from a book or a journal. They were brown and warped with spilled drink and scrawled with few brief entries. Should I read her story? <clears throat> These pages have been torn out of a larger book. They are strained brown and stiff with some dark, fragrant liquid. The entries begin thus. I wanted so badly to find Pokokuhara and now we are stuck here. No one dares to leave while the titan roams outside, so we must hope we can find another exit somewhere in the ruins. Olara must have triggered it. It did not move until she began prying open the door. Before we knew it, it had Gian. Others do not say it, but I know they blame me for failing to save him. <clears throat> Smudges of dirt from the author's hand streak the page around the next entry. Olar is gone. 2. We move more slowly now, wary of traps and monsters. I detest this creeping about, and Duano's stomping nearly makes it all pointless. But Falero has almost lost his nerve, and I do not think he can take another nasty surprise. The next entry is filled with big, crooked letters that loop and swoop like childs. <clears throat> the others sleep. We, we decided against candles or campfires, so I write in the glow of the Adra. It is good, because I hear something moving in the dark, even if the others do not. Falero insisted that we move slowly so he could study the murals and the patterns in the floor. He thinks to save us from the mishaps like the ones that befell Gian and Lara, but none of that will help if the creatures here catch us. <sighs> Duano hides a limp, but the way he looks at Valero makes me think he's hiding something else too. They grow more and more paranoid with every hour in this place. When they awaken, we will press forward so they, that we may be done with it. In the meantime, I'll keep the pages with my own observations. I cannot trust the others with them. The next entry is hastily scribbled. Falero lost the logbook and accuses me of sabotage. Sabotage! He's so busy sketching these murals that he forgets why we are here. But I saw the address and I understood. This place is sick. We are here to cure it. But Falero says the Juana were here long ago. Let the murals prove as such. I think one Almana looks much like another, but he gave me an idea. Right now we spend blood and treasure searching for Luminous Adra. Our task would be much easier if we could make regular Adra luminous by enriching it with live souls. Wow! As I look at the equipment, the Ingwitans built here, so like uh, the machines our Animancers construct, I wonder if they once did this very thing, and we have villagers of Tikavara so eager to help. When we return to Nekataka, I will present my idea to Luava Alvari. I do not think Director Castol has the stomach for it, 
nor my companions, I fear. Well, I'm taking your weapon, girl. Tooted blade. Okay. Leave it to me. Well, if that's your plan, I think you should be the first uh, to sign up for it. You know, why not just go for it yourself? Sounds good to me. Like, every little bit helps, right? The Huana figure sacrifice seems to have supplied the pillars with that energy depicted in the blue flame. So that is exactly what was going on here. Think I found the problem. Maybe the problems are the sacrifices. At least in the long run. Sure. Energy pulses through the twisted column like an irregular heartbeat, heartbeat uh, straining at the bonding walls. Okay, looks odd. So we can go down again. What? Is that it? So what did we learn? So I do know what the hell is going on. Did I miss something? Did we miss some kind of an option that we could have... Uh, Used? Let's see. I didn't see anything that I can click on. Oh, never mind that. The machine at the base of a pillar is in bad shape. The other panels are warped and the copper is corroded, but it looks whole. A high keening sound comes from the Adra. Let's examine the machine. You check the copper connections and knobs. Everything appears to be intact, but none of the essence in the pillar runs through. The keening grows louder. Let's activate the machine. You turn the other wheel and adjust some of the sliders. At first nothing happens. Then you feel a fluctuation in the adder. The wailing grows louder. Oh, what? Essence moves within the adra, opening a dimension as raw and distorted as a fresh wound. Something in that place pulls you pulls at your soul, and the distant voices cry out again. Okay. Creepy place. Here we go. Next time. So thanks for watching guys, and see ya. And have a good one.